The thing about these state background checks is it's not, they don't take long, but it's a delay. The other thing that I would say is red flag laws, which is where the suicide part comes in, are fairly effective if they're used properly or at all, which they're often not, right? So, you know, a lot of states have red flag laws and never use them. People don't know that they exist. But you also have to do things like a mental health check for the person who you're trying to get the gun away from because they may be a threat, because they may not be. You have to have a speedy process because a person has a right to have a gun in this country, so you can't make this thing take forever. And if a person does this just out of like vengeance to get the gun away from you, then there have to be reper legal repercussions for that person. And that does happen, you know. When we were in DC, I was meeting with the congressman's office and they said New Jersey law enforcement had just been in their office. And they said sometimes people are using these red flag laws as a form of like vengeance against their spouse, man or woman. So, you know, these are all things to consider. And I, I you correct me if I'm wrong, because you own a you, you own gun, but I don't think that they would be um, taking away from your ability to own a gun. Unless, of course, you beat up Josh at some point and were convicted for that. I hope that didn't.